Let's let's start off by understanding, you know, in this competitive environment, in this competitive crypto space, how are you differentiating yourself as an exchange versus competitors, versus, versus other players? Sure, definitely. So first and foremost, I think regulation is playing a very key part uh, to this entire space, as we've seen regulators from around the world cracking down on unregulated exchanges. And, you know, as a company, um, when we started, you know, this was the first priority for us because we know that this space was going to be regulated. So um, how we differentiate is by being regulated in multiple jurisdictions. So for example, in Thailand, we are licensed and regulated by the SEC. Uh, in Indonesia, we're regulated by BBT. Singapore, we're on the exemption list uh, and regulated by the Monetary Authority of Singapore. And in Australia, we're also regulated by Austrac. Um, so we bring the best in breed um, uh, risk and compliance uh, into the system to ensure that customers onboarding are safe and regulated. Uh, secondly, is our product offering. Um, you know, crypto exchanges have been around for a while. We started off as an exchange, um, but we're you know very quickly actually expanding our product offering. So we have the exchange, which allows people to buy and sell digital assets. And we're also offering other types of digital assets, for example, investment tokens in other countries where it's permitted, um, you know, for example, tokenized stocks uh, in Indonesia, uh, also, you know, uh, commodities like gold, um, you know, that is being offered across the board as well. So it's extremely important to provide a diversified investment, um, a variety for, for, uh, for our investors. And also we've kind of branched into um, an earn product uh, where that we allow customers to actually earn yield on their digital assets, which I think is really important because, you know, customers may not be trading um, from time to time and they just want a passive income, uh, which is very similar to traditional finance where bonds, you can actually earn yield on bonds or mutual funds. Uh, moving on from that, uh, we're looking to launch payments. We've just announced a partnership with Visa very recently uh, to be able to provide payments across Southeast Asia and also looking at lending uh, in the future, uh, where that's permitted in each of these countries um, to actually use the digital assets as a form of collateral for lending. But how do you make money, Marcus, over the long term? Yeah, no, great question. So um, our core business at the moment is the exchange and how we make money is through fees and spreads uh, and also in FX as well. Um, so these are primary drivers um, for the exchange part. Uh, in terms of the own product, um, you know, we make money through, you know, interest uh, revenue generated from interest uh, where we do lend it out. So this is, you know, combining these two together, it's extremely important. Now in the future where we look into kind of payments, uh, you know, that will be based on transactions. And then when we do lending will be based on how much we lend out, which is on that interest margin. So, um, you know, very similar to, you know, what we look at as a traditional bank, uh, how they kind of make their money. Um, for fintech players or a digital asset players like us, um, you know, we make it based on a transaction, based on spreads.